YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Jack Hill. So today's episode is going to be about fitness and in particular whey protein or protein shakes as I refer to. Um, so uh, I'm just going to go over some basic stuff for beginners who are into fitness and are thinking do I need protein shake or would that be beneficial to me. Uh, and I'm just going to explain uh, the things that I know um, and see if it's useful to you. So let's do this! So, uh, when to take protein shakes is what the vlog is about. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is what is whey protein? Or what's in protein shakes? So whey is, if you've heard of curd and whey, uh, whey is the thing I think that floats to the top that, um, or it's one of the two uh, byproducts of the process for making cheese, for making milk, those type of things. It's a, it's a dairy byproduct, uh, and it's got lots of uses as well. Um, so it's basically um, a separated. It's the watery part of of uh, milk that's separated, and it's very high in protein. And in particular, well, it's a type of protein. In particular, um, it's the most absorbent to humans, or one of the most absorbent types of protein to humans. So it's um, incredibly preferable for if you're trying to get protein into your body quickly. Whey protein is much quicker than fish or chicken, for example. Um, now, the actual chemical reasons for that I'm not actually certain of, uh, but it would be just to do with the types of uh, bonding and... Um, <laughs> I don't know any other about chemistry, but I'm even trying. Ignore that, ignore that. <laughs> okay, so next thing I'll say is... When does my body need protein most? So there's a lot of things that people talk about to do with this. And there's a lot of stuff that's wrong as well. Um, so if anyone's ever heard about the thing of eating chicken like every two hours or every three hours, eating very small meals frequently and often, the whole reason for that was that there was supposedly a, uh, um, a limitation to the amount of protein you can take in per hour. But the entire basis of that study was ages ago and everything was extrapolated off of a lot of maths done in like the 70s or 80s. So that's not true. Um, and there's been studies now done that suggest that if you have one meal a day with all of your protein in um, as compared to having, you know, frequent and often um, different amounts of protein throughout the day, the two separate groups actually, there is no difference. Um, and that our digestive systems are actually quite adaptive and can take in a lot of protein at once. So all those old myths are kind of blown out of the water. Anyway, that was completely beside the point of what I actually asked. Uh, when does my body need protein most? Ah, yeah, so there's, there was three different things that I've heard of for this. Um, there's been completely solid evidence to suggest that uh, both before and after the gym, after any type of training session, uh, is very useful. But, and this is a very big but, <laughs> Um, it's dependent on your training goals. If you're training to lose weight, high, a high protein diet is good. But do you need protein shakes? Not necessarily. Right, so you're training to gain muscle. Uh, high Again, high protein diet, very good. You'll still need a bit of, uh, of other stuff in there as well. Do you need protein shakes? Not necessarily. The, the benefit of protein shakes is speed and convenience. So if you uh, don't have enough time to make a full meal, um, before you go to the gym, you can just quickly have a protein shake. Equally so when you get back, um, there's a thing that's referred to in fitness quite often as the golden hour, which is uh, the hour after you've exercised um, and your body is much more absorbent to nutrients during that period. So you can imagine it's an evolutionary trait, it's an evolutionary hangback from when we were hunter-gatherers. We'd kill something or run after something to get it and once we'd acquired our food, um, our bodies need to be more efficient with it um, and store it in the most efficient possible way uh, and use everything you possibly can for it, don't pass anything. Um, so obviously activity generally uh, denotes hunting for, for, our, for our lifestyles, or it did. Um, so our bodies have responded in that way. Uh, anyway, the th three types, I'm just, I'm just going off now talking about protein. Is, so the three times uh, that are... Um, considered the best to take protein. I don't necessarily agree with this last one, but it is true. Um, so before you work out, if that works for you, after you work out, 
if that works for you. And if you think you need more protein in your diet and you can't get it any other way. Um, or if you just want to start bulking and you suddenly, if you just add protein shakes to your diet, that could that could also have a benefit, a, benefit, a positive benefit um, to your size. But the other one, the third one that I don't necessarily agree with is before bed. Um, I, I really disagree with this one. Now, the theory is that um, you go into fat oxidation during uh, when you're sleeping. So obviously now I haven't eaten for a while, actually. Um, but let's say if I just ate something, um, your body will start burning the carbs from it. Um, and it won't start burning the, f it, it'll, it, it <laughs> I can word. So <laughs> typically it will start burning the calories and the carbs in it. Uh, I can't remember what the process is going, but it's, it's not fat oxidation. There's two like burning methods that your body can be in. And it's, you're either burning fat or you're burning carbs. Um, and you kind of phase in between those two. So you might be burning, you know, like 90% carbs and then 10% fat. And then it sort of scales where there's a percentage of both. Um, but sometimes you do one more than the other. And at night time, after um, I think four or five hours, you go into fat oxidation and you start burning purely fat. Um, and that's from all the stores in your body, uh, the subcutaneous fat under your skin and uh, what's it called now? The visceral fat on your organs. Um, so the theory for the protein thing is that if you're going for these fasting periods, your body needs nutrients to grow, and sleep is a huge part of growth, muscle growth in particular. So having a protein shake before you go to sleep with slow-release protein in um, will give your body the nutrients it needs to repair itself. And this is true, but only for the most extreme athletes, people who are training all of the time, or people who, who are com very competitive and into it. Um, but for the, for the everyman um, and woman, there's not really any point for the before the bed thing. There'll be more problems that that will cause than gains. Whereas if you just have one protein shake uh, after your workouts, your very intense workout days, and just on your workout days, uh, that'll be closer to body transformation and um, it, it should actually benefit you, help you maintain muscle and that type of stuff. But like I said, it's dependent on your training goals. And, you have to, and it has to be... Everyone knows that it's training and food together, and it's both of these things will, will help you reach your goals. You can't ever just have one of them. I can't, it's very, very, very difficult to out-train your eating. Um, it can be done, but it's so, so much easier if you just adjust your eating. If you're doing that, much, that amount of training and you're that disciplined to be able to do that much training, just change your diet. Um, I'm quite happy eating you know, chicken, broccoli, tuna, salmon, the the nice meats and the, the healthy things over everything else just for the benefit that I feel. Anyway, oh, anyway, I'm not, I've not even quite finished my list. Anyway, let's go. No, I've not finished yet. Come on. So uh, there's, those are three times that, um, you, you, uh, that has been studied, uh, that studies have proven that you need protein the most. Uh, um, I've, I've talked about goals and how that is one of the biggest influences Ah, I've made a point here. Um, a normal diet is perfectly fine and whey is just a fast, convenient and supplementary way of getting additional protein in your diet. So uh, there, is, there will be no tangible benefit uh, between, the, between the diets of someone being eating just cooked food and proper real food, you could say, as opposed to all these supplements and that type of stuff. There'll be no difference except the speed might be slightly quicker for the person with whey and they may even get more, they might get a better absorbent, absorbency into their gut of, uh, for the protein. They might, they might take more of the protein uh, than, than they pass uh, than this one. Although on this one, when you're naturally making foods and chicken and that type of stuff, cooking everything, there's, there'll be more peripheral nutrients that you'll get in this, probably. At least probably a slightly more balanced diet. But these are tiny, tiny, tiny incremental things. You could cover them up entirely and they both be exactly the same. So, in any case, um, protein shake is quite nice. Uh, it's good to get in if you, wanna, if you need to get in protein quick or if you need to get additional protein in your diet. High protein diets are good for both, for, for lots of things. Because um, protein is more satisfying than carbs and stuff. I could eat sweets all day but I can't eat chicken all day. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd explain uh, some of that. I'll be doing some more videos this week to explain more shizzle, uh, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Please subscribe, share, like, 
uh, if you like all this stuff and me uh, and follow me on Twitter at AVP Studios 09 from an open dialogue or if you just want to insult me or anything or suggest videos and comments are all welcome down below and I shall catch you all on the flip side probably another video coming this week I'm, fe I'm feeling another video coming let's see how we do love you all catch you on the flip side <laughs>